Now, Terra Luna Classic is having a pretty tough morning so far today, bouncing off that 25,000 point per coin level, jumping back up to around 28,000, and now it does seem to be back on the downtrend, at least for the moment. And I see a lot of people out there on social media that are kind of getting a little anxious and nervous about Terra Luna Classic right now. But we have to remember, why did you buy in the first place? If you bought for a simple technical run up, okay, yeah, maybe you should be getting nervous. But if you bought for the burns, if you bought for the rebuilding of the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, if you bought for the future, eh, I mean, why? Why stress out about the day-to-day -day price action, even though it's coming down a little bit right now? So in this video, I want to go over some of the numbers and, and I want to give a little update on what Terra Luna Classic is doing and why we may be seeing this period of stagnation or consolidation. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you're going to get at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks. $1 crypto trade, get you $5 in free crypto. <clears throat> and then if you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange where you can buy Terra Luna Classic, You've got KuCoin in the description, and they reward active traders on there. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. Uh, we get a lot to discuss in this video, and I kind of want to I want to point out the difference between trading and investing, because a lot of people may have bought Terra Luna Classic because it was running up in price, going from roughly 8,000 points per coin up to 60,000 points per coin in, in roughly a one-month period, <clears throat> very short period of time to see 5, 6, 7x gains, and, and that attracts a lot of this trader mentality or these days slash swing traders. And if that's why you got into Terra Luna Classic, for short-term gains, yes, what we've got on the chart now <clears throat> is, is a dissension and, and potentially a retesting of a major support level around 22,000 points per coin. Now, here's the funny thing. When Terra Luna Classic was rising, <clears throat> when it went from 8,000 to 12,000 to 16,000, everybody was excited about that test of 22,000 points per coin. And, and knowing that it could lead to a massive breakout. And it did. 22,000 all the way up to 60,000 points per coin at 3x, basically 200% return, is an amazing, amazing performance over such a short period of time. And now that we're creeping back down, a couple of things that the technical traders aren't necessarily doing. They're not giving the emphasis on that 22,000 point per coin level of support that Terra Luna Classic has, that it could hold up and really be the bouncing point for Terra Luna. But they're also, also only focusing on the negative. I mean, that's what technical traders do. They take their short-term momentum and then they make decisions based on that. So if that's you, okay, great, we get it. Instead of being fearful... Make that trade. You know, use the technicals and make that trade on Terra Luna Classic. But if you've gotten in because you believe that the Terra Luna Classic blockchain can be rebuilt, that's another story. If you've gotten in because you see the potential for these Terra Luna Classic burns to reduce the supply back down to something feasible, that's a different story. If you've gotten in because one day you think the Terra Luna Classic can go to a penny, 10 cents, a dollar, that's another story. You have to be convicted in why you got into Terra Luna Classic in the first place. So if it's a technical trade, <clears throat> sure, might be time for you to exit if that's what your technicals are showing you. If it's a fundamental trade, if it's a rebuilding trade, if it's a future investment in Terra Luna Classic, let's go over some of these numbers. <clears throat> right now, the market cap is roughly 1.5, <clears throat> sorry, to $1.6 billion. If we double that, we get to three. If we multiply that by 20, we get to 60 billion. So all of a sudden, you're talking a 40x increase just to get back to the previous market cap highs that we were hitting around that one penny mark. Guys, 40x increases on your money, they don't happen 
very often. Once, once in a lifetime movements for a 40x increase. I believe a lot of people have been have been deceived by by margin gains and leverage trading and and some people who are going to lie to you on social media and tell you that they hit a thousand x and all of these gambles that are going on out there. But from where we are now, just to those previous market cap highs, we're talking 40x increases. If you say, how do you ever get there? Have you forgotten about the burns that are going to be taking place in the next couple of days here? Guys, it is, it's imperative that we remember that Terra Luna Classic needs to burn in order to reach these higher prices. And, and I would have thought this, this type of price action on Terra Luna Classic would have happened last week, but we're seeing the, I guess, the repercussions of it this week. People were excited about the staking being re-enabled, and therefore we were pumping the price higher. Now, all of a sudden, it's a whole six more days, five more days until September 20th. What are we going to do waiting all of that time? And it, it's crazy to me that people can't see five days down the road. Now, five days down the road, when, this, when these burns are re-enabled, we can absolutely at least get a gauge of how long it's going to take to reduce the Terra Luna Classic supply back down to what we want to see it. Now, a lot of people were excited about the very high volume numbers we had. So if we want to look at some volume numbers now, we still have roughly $700 million being traded on a 24-hour period. That's roughly half to one-third of some of the major numbers we were seeing over the last few days here. The good news is the price is also half to one-third of what it was. So those calculations where people were doing uh, 400 or four billion dollars in Terra Luna Classic being traded times the 1.2 percent burn tax, and, and then the price and getting roughly 100 billion Terra Luna Classic burnt per day. Those numbers are still intact. If we have one quarter of the volume and it's one quarter of the price, the the result is still the same. So guys, I I don't know the best way to word this. Okay. Because if you're feeling like you need to sell, I mean, you got to go with, with what's going to make you happy. But there's no sense in stressing and worrying and trying to spread fear amongst other investors. If you lose your conviction, hey, one of two things, man. Either try to gain it from somebody else and look at their point of view and say, well, you know what, if, if that does make sense, now I can stay in Terra Luna Classic. And if not, don't try to bring others down with you. Terra Luna Classic does have a future. Is it risky? Absolutely. But if you believe in it, then you have to believe in it and you have to move forward with that belief. So I want to know what you guys think. This little stagnation consolidation period in between staking and burning is definitely getting people on the edge of their seat right now. But with burn starting in the next couple of days, we could absolutely see a catalyst here pretty soon. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Six to 12 free stocks on Weeble. Uh, very active rewards on KuCoin. If you want to get Terra Luna Classic, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.